So the game I'm playing today is called Dymo XL, the third entry in the XL series of arcade-style score attack games developed by Nicker Vision Studios. You guys probably already know that I covered Bit Blaster XL and Orbit XL, which are the previous two entries, on my channel in the past, and this is the most recent one. This came out a couple months ago, back in October. Much like the previous XL games, it has been subject to rave reviews on Steam, at least we're user reviews are concerned. There's basically no coverage of this game at all, uh, aside from Rock Paper Shotgun, which I was kind of surprised to see. Dymo originally began its life, according to the developer, as a mobile game, but the mobile version was never officially released, and the game was later reworked and released on PC in the form of Dymo XL. And much like its counterparts, it's just a very simple score attack game where you have to score as many points as possible. You want to know how to score all these points? Well, I'm going to teach you how exactly you can score all the points in Dymo XL. We're not going to bother with the tutorial, I'm just going to explain it instead. So, uh, let's just go to start. Let's just go and start. So, first of all, there is a uh, character select screen. There are some characters you can unlock. You simply unlock them by playing the game, and that, that's pretty much it. You'll eventually unlock all of them over time. So I have three of them right here. Every character in this game does have their own unique abilities, well, not abilities, they have different speeds. They have different uh, speeds they can move at, and they also have uh, different sizes as well, which uh, does make some of them more vulnerable to uh, getting hit by enemies. This is another one of these games where everything just kills you in one hit. These are the other ones that I haven't unlocked. Smash 100 enemies, complete 250 diamonds, earn 15,000 points total. You'll eventually unlock them by simply playing the game, so I'm just gonna go with the uh, main character right here. So the way this game works is that you are on a diamond grid right here, and the objective is to move around the diamond grid and fill all of the different lines in, in order to score points. And the more you move around, the higher multiplier you will receive, and you also need to uh, avoid these red squares right here because they will kill you instantly. However, you can get a close call, and that will actually earn you even more points. I have no idea why that guy exploded right there. I do believe it... I, th I think it is possible to destroy some of these enemies under some circumstances, but most of the time they will just kill you in one hit. There's also these little orbs that will appear from time to time, and if you uh, run into them, you can also uh, score points, but uh, the squares can also collide with them too, and if they collide with it, that destroys the orb. So try and pick them up before the enemies do. Oh good god, that was so close. Yeah, there's some uh, enemies as well that can just destroy parts of the grid altogether, but they will reform, so don't don't think you're you're screwed if uh, one of them do, do manage to uh, destroy part of it. Uh, I don't think I want to go down there. This is another one of these games that gets progressively difficult as it, uh, as it goes on. So, you have these, uh, little diamond points right here that you can, that you can stop at in, in order to catch your breath. There are two different, uh, types of speed as well. If you simply, uh, tap the arrow keys, uh, I can you use W keys? Okay, yeah, you can use the WASD keys as well. If you just simply tap one of the arrow keys or the WASD keys, you can just move very slowly. And if you hold it down, you can move really fast. So, two different types of, of speed in this game. Low gear or high gear. Wording that as if we're playing pole position or something, but that's that's essentially how it works. It's it's kind of like pole position. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I, yeah, I guess that makes it so that I can't actually move onto that part of the grid. I have no idea, actually. Uh, oh god, okay. <laughs> Yeah, when you, when you start moving, you cannot uh, initiate the brakes at any point. You you cannot stop. You just have to you just have to keep on going. If you screw up, well, you can only you can you can only delay the inevitable for for so long. You can only delay the inevitable by maybe maybe a second or two, but you'll still die anyway. So that's uh pretty much the whole game, guys. Like I said, there are some other characters you can unlock, and I will show some of the other ones I unlocked in uh, just a couple minutes from, from now. So, yeah. Only real objective here is that you have to score as many points as possible. Not the deepest game ever, but it's still it's still pretty fun. I mean, I've, I've only spent like maybe 10 or 15 minutes with this off-screen, but I mean, it's still... 
I'm I'm having I'm having a great time. So that's 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 what counts, right? As long as the video game you purchase is is causing you to have a great time, then that's that's all fine and good. Okay, I probably should not have done that. Good good round score though. Very very good round score right there. Yeah, so you just fill up these different parts of the grid. I don't I don't know what uh, exactly this means. Like you can fill up different uh, parts of the the triangles that comprise the diamond grid. I'm not sure if if that in particular awards you any points. I don't believe it does. But I do think when you die, it does tell you how many triangles you've managed to form on the grid. But again, I don't really understand what the point of that is, because it doesn't seem to reward you any points at all. And you can also see your multiplier going up as well. That little circle above, that also holds your uh, your total score. That will uh, increase. Uh, the circle will increase, as you can see. And if, you, if, if it does manage to fill all the way, then you'll get into uh, a higher multiplier. So, what you want to do in order to get higher multipliers is uh, continuously move, and that way you'll get a much higher score. I should probably- oh wait, actually I was I was able to do that. Okay, so maybe the ones with the the orbs directly in front of them, maybe those are the ones that I can I can destroy, right? Okay, well I I thought I, I was it was directly in, in front of me. I thought maybe I could have I could have done that. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's very very precise. Like maybe the hitboxes are precise. Why the hell did I do that? Why am I why am I stupid? Why am I so dumb? All right, let me just let me just go and grab that. Let me just go and grab this over here. Very good. Give me my three points. Okay. Let me let me try this again. All right. Whoa. What the heck? Okay. Everything is just like exploding for no reason, and it's really distracting me. Yeah, I was able to do it that time. So maybe maybe I like uh, clipped a, a corner of it or something. Maybe that wasn't that wasn't correct. Okay, well that that time I know for a fact it wasn't correct because that one was like directly behind it. So I don't even know why I did that. I do believe the enemy patterns are random every single time, so the game's not gonna be the same all the time. At least there's there's some some randomization elements to this. Some some roguelike elements. Alright, let me just let me just try and complete this diamond right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go here. I think after this game, then, uh, I'll probably try to show off the other characters. I don't think I'm gonna try and unlock the three other characters, though, because it's just gonna take too long. This is also another one of these games where the achievements are, once again, extremely easy to collect. Because, once again, it just, it just involves, uh, scoring as many points as possible. Which, again, that's the same thing I complained about with Bit Blaster XL and Orbit XL. You know, like, try try and add achievements that actually make me feel like I have accomplished something. Because, I mean, it's not it's not exactly hard to get 25 points in this game, or 50, or 75, or 100. Because those, those are the ex exact scores that the game will award you an achievement for receiving. It's like, that's not hard. Give me a bit of a challenge, please. At least it's not a challenge for me. I mean, I, I understand that just because I'm extremely good at a game... Well, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm extremely good at this, because I already died like 10 times in this video so far. But, you know, just because I consider myself to be good at a game doesn't mean everyone else is going to. Especially when I've been playing that game for, like, years on end. I mean, that's that's the case I, I, I always argue with Step Mania, because it's like, I've been playing Step Mania for a really long time. And I do actually consider myself to be pretty good at that game because of how long I've been playing it. I mean, I still can't clear most of the keyboard charts in that game, though. I would say it's it's physically impossible because my fingers can't can't move that fast. But you know, just just because I'm good at a game doesn't mean everyone else is going to be. Because there's different there's different skill levels, right? Something that's extremely easy for, for you to accomplish might not be so easy for, for others to accomplish. Maybe because they're just not skilled at the game, or maybe they're they're even physically disabled, which makes them incapable of, uh, you know, pr maybe pressing pressing certain inputs or whatnot. No one's gonna possess the exact same skill level as, as me, so I, I really shouldn't be saying that it's like, oh, this is this is so easy, because in reality, it's it's only easy for me, not necessarily for everyone else. Also, uh, I should mention the controls are kind of weird in this game. Yeah, just just went off on that on that tangent, which is something I'm really good at doing in these videos. But yeah, when you're going down the uh, diagonal parts of the grid, all you have to do is just uh, I don't even know how I was supposed to get out of that. But when you're going down the uh, diagonal parts of the grid, all you have to do is once again just press left, right, or down, or even up. 
Because I thought that what I was supposed to do before was, um, like, press, like, when I'm going down this part of the grid right here, press the up and right arrow keys at the same time. You don't have to do that. You just press one arrow key, which is usually, uh, the up arrow. Yeah, with the down arrow, you go down to that part of the grid. So you press the left arrow in order to go to the left. So, yeah, you only need, you only need to press one arrow here. It's not that complicated. So there's this uh, other little character right here, which is uh, a purple square. I would not recommend playing as this character, though, because uh, he's a lot slower than uh, the normal blue square that you play as. Although he is smaller, so it does make uh, it, it does make him a lot harder to hit. So I guess there is a bit of an advantage to uh, playing as this character. You know, if you want to if you want to make uh, make it harder for the enemies to hit you. But if you're if you're looking for like for like speed, you know if you want if you want to be speedy, then I would not really recommend using this character. Uh, the other character that I'm going to show off after this, uh, I I believe is the fastest in the game. Well, I I think I haven't unlocked the three other characters, so I could be wrong on that. But he is one of the fastest, or it is because I mean these these characters don't have personalities; they're literally just squares. Get away from this this giant square here! Oh my God, there's so many things coming coming at me now. Please and thank you. Just go around the grid. Okay, don't stay in the center. Okay, well go through the center now. See if I can just create this diamond right here. I didn't even see that other one that I destroyed. Okay, I was not supposed to go there. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I guess that does make it so that I can't go to that area for for a little while. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to this guy in time. No, wasn't able wasn't able to smash him. Wasn't able to smash his face in. Maybe I can create an, another diamond here. Very good indeed. I don't think I want to go into the center just yet. I do want to try and get this. Okay, there we go. I did at least collect that. Uh, get out of the way. There we go. Get that other that other piece. Okay, I wasn't supposed to go down there because I didn't even notice that. I mean, to be fair, it is it is kind of hard to keep track of all the enemies considering there's so many that are that are spawning all at a time. Uh, let's go and get this guy right here. Yeah, this guy is the only one that that has a face. You want to know how to unlock this character? You have to uh, get a score of 42 and then die. Yes, you have you have to die on purpose because you know it's it's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. Forty two is the meaning of life. That's that's like most most overused joke of of the of the century right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 40, 42 is the meaning of life. Wow, hilarious! Ha 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 ha! Gives gives me the giggles. It gives me the giggles, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Well then again, I, I tend to... M most of the jokes I say in my videos are jokes that I've said like probably a hundred times in, in my videos before. I mean, how many times have I have I said, Oh my god, I just got launched into the stratosphere in my videos. Like like at least nine million, I would say. Gotta, gotta come up with, with new material here. Gotta come up with something more more funny than that. It was, it was funny the first few times I said it, but it gets, it gets old pr pretty quickly. I gotta gotta come up with something new, new and clever. That that was not very clever though, because I just ran right into that enemy. The only downside to playing as uh, the the guy with the face is that he is the largest character, if I'm not mistaken. So it does make make it a lot easier for enemies to hit him because he has a larger hitbox. It's the only real downside to it, but he does move really fast. So. If, if you time it correctly, you can get a lot of close calls on these enemies. Yeah, this game is also kind of like Burnout in the sense that you can get more points by initiating close calls with enemies. Wow, I'm just not even paying attention at this point. Holy crap. Well, then again, paying attention is something that I have a, a difficult time doing anyway, but... Well, actually, maybe that's even why I, I, I have such a hard time paying attention in video games. Maybe it's just natural. Maybe because I'm just, I'm just naturally not, not paying attention to anything. I mean, I don't. I don't think I have ADHD. Like the only, the only mental disability I I know for a fact I have is is Asperger syndrome. But who knows? Maybe, maybe maybe I have uh, a <laughs> attention deficit hyperactive disorder or whatever the hell you call it. I don't know. Maybe maybe I do have ADHD in addition to autism. That that's not a very good combination though. But I don't know. That's that's something I've I've always thought about. I, I don't know. I could even have OCD as well. I mean, there are certain 
there, there's like certain things that I do in in my normal life sometimes that I almost feel like I have to do in order for me to, to, to function correctly. I never mentioned this in any of my videos before, but there have been some instances where I've like, I've become like very unsure of myself at times when I'm when I'm looking at something. So it's almost like, like whenever I read something, for instance, I always feel like I have to read it at least twice or three times in a row before I, I like, my, my brain is, is able to comprehend, like that's, or, or before my brain finally recognizes that's what it says. Like when I'm, when I'm reading something out of, out of a book, for instance, if I read, oh, okay, this, this page says this, but for some reason, my, my brain seems to be unsure of it at first, like it's unsure that it, that's actually what it says, so I read it like a, a couple times more, just to make absolutely sure, even though I already know for a, I are like I already know definitively what it says on that particular page of the book, but it's like my brain doesn't think that, and it and it makes me read it like two or three more times just so that my brain can can ensure that's exactly what it says, and I don't know it that feels a lot like OCD because it's like consciously I know that's what the the page says, but it's like. It, my brain doesn't doesn't register that at first and it's it's a weird feeling it's a really weird feeling so I, I don't know anyway um I, I don't really know what else to say about this game guys I've been just going off on tangents throughout this entire video but I mean this is Diamo XL this is this is literally the whole game you're just forming diamonds with well other diamonds and in different squares and just avoiding enemies and trying to get as many points as possible basically the same concept and premise as Nicker Vision Studios' other games. You know, just try to get as many points as possible, something you may only play for maybe 10 or 15 minutes at a time, not something you'll spend like like five hours playing in, in a row at the very least. For a developer who claims to not know how to develop video games, he does a pretty damn good job at, at creating some solid, like, arcade-style score attack games, so... The developer of these of these games doesn't seem to have a, a lot of confidence in himself. I don't know, that's just what I notice. This game's only about $1 on Steam. Yes, definitely pick it up. I mean, as with Nicker Vision's other games, they're they're always fun to play for, for a few minutes at the very least, or for a few minutes at the time. They're they're fun to play always. It's like you'll never you'll never get tired of it, but you know, if you just wanna wanna try and beat beat your high score while you're maybe waiting for for another game to download, which is ex exactly what uh, I think the developer himself says. Like, you know, if you're if you're waiting in queue for for something to download or waiting for another game, this would be the perfect time to to to, to bust out the the diamond grid and just form some diamonds and get get some points for doing so. Make it feel like like you've accomplished something. Okay, that still counts even though. It got rid of part of the grid, okay. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take it then, in that case. So yeah, game's only $1 on Steam, guys. Of course, I would recommend picking it up. Even if you don't like it, I mean, it's only $1. Is there really any point in getting a refund? Okay, I thought I would have been able to, to get to that part of the grid in time with, without getting annihilated. To the guy who makes these games, I think you're much better at, at developing video games than you, than you think you are. So you gotta... Gotta get some confidence built up in yourself, dude. Just out of curiosity, what does the leaderboard look like for this? Who ha who has the highest score here? Who has the highest score? Platinum? Okay, you know what? That actually is is believable. 2,407? Yeah, it's not a, it's not a stupid number like 12 billion like like I saw in Geometry Wars 3. So there's there's no cheaters here. No cheaters whatsoever? Well that's good. Good to know that people are at least playing by the rules in this game. Can't say the same thing about all the other, like, <laughs> leaderboards for the other games on Steam, unfortunately. Thanks for watching as always, guys, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!